Welcome back to a new one on this channel. And this occasion, we need to talk about the event sync points. Now, this is something that you get from Studio One Six and is a really useful feature, especially if you work with the, a lot of samples. Now, I can think of two major uses for this. And once you start using it, uh, you will notice that it's just really useful and it fixes a lot of issues that, uh, you know, we get when we work with samples. All right, so I have a, a drum track right here. I'm going to mute the sample. I'm just going to play it back. And this is the drum track, right? And then I have some plucks. I'm going to play it. There you go, the plucks. Okay, so now I can see that the clip is kind of a perfect, right? You can see the transients and all of the transients, they snap right there at the grid. So it's just going to be in sync, which is okay. So, okay. Oh, made a mistake right there. So, okay, so how can we enable the sync points and, you know, how can we use it? So I'm going to right click the clip and then I'm going to say sync point. So right here, as soon as you do so at the beginning of the event, you're going to see a yellow marker, a yellow dot or note or whatever you want to call it. So if I move it around, it's going to decide the new sync point. Now, if I move it, I'm going to disable if I move this clip, it's going to snap to the grid that we have right there at the back. If you have the, uh, you know, the snapping on, but you know, if I move it, it's going to sn always snap, but maybe I just don't want to snap it uh, like this. Maybe I want to decide a different, you know, a different place to snap. So the sync point is going to do that. Whenever you move this, you're going to be selecting a new sync point. So I'm going to maybe put it right here and notice that it's not right there in the grid, right? So when I move this now, it's going to snap to the grid. Right. So this is the main point of the sync points. I have a new sync point and this is going to, you know, decide where we're going to be syncing. So when I play it, now it's going to be like a variation of, you know, whatever it is that we are doing right here. Now I can move it around and notice that it will snap to the transients and I can move it around again. And now this is going to be my, you know, the starting of the clip. And it's going to snap to it's just going to snap to the transients by default. This is how it works. If you don't want for this to snap to the transients, you can hold the shift. And then when you move it around, you can, you know, you can just, you know, move it freely. Now, if I wanted to snap it right here, well, this is going to be my new sync point. It makes no sense, but, you know, it, I can move around and just snap it right there. And this is going to be by the beginning of the clip in this case. All right. So this is how it works. Now, this is a more creative way because I'm using the sync point to offset the clip and trying to find a, you know, a variation. That's how I'm using it. So it's a more creative approach to the sync points. Now, the other use for this is to fix a problem that I'm pretty sure you had in the past. Maybe you have a kick or maybe a clap or an effects and you don't have a clear indication of where, you know, uh, the clip starts or ends. Or maybe it doesn't match the grid very well. Well, uh, you know, we can use sync points just to help. Now, I have this uh, clip right here, and it's not very clear when it's going to end or when, it, when it's starting. So if I pull it back, it's going to sound like that. So it has a rise, and at some point, it's going to be, it's going to, you know, has a fall. Now, I want to move it, and I, when I work with this, I want to maybe put it right here, right in the pocket, but I don't have a clear indication where is the fall. So we can use the sync points. I can go right there, just bring the yellow dot. Maybe this is going to be the, uh, you know, the fall. Maybe. So let's say that right here is when it falls. So I want to snap it right there on the beat number three. So if I go there, it's going to easily snap right there. And also you have a clear indication that this is where it's going down. So maybe you want to put it right here. It's going to rise and it's going to fall. And you instantly know that and you can move it around and snap it to the grid, to the grid very easily. Yeah, it's, it's a very tiny little thing, but it's just super useful. And now the cool thing that now later, let's say that I want to do it again on a different place. So I don't need to move the clip around and trying to find the sweet spot. I just can duplicate this and it's going to keep the event, the sync point. So I know that it's going to fit right there. And I don't, I don't need to do this all over again. That's the main point, right? Okay, let me show you a different example. And this is the most useful example. I'm going to be playing this. It is just a crash, right? Just a crash. Now, if I take a look, if I zoom in, the clip is a little bit longer than one. So I might need to trim it 
just to just to work with this. And then I need to do the work and just to fade and, you know, the things that we, we always do. But, you know, I don't need to do this and I don't want to do this. Now, I'm not going to use this clip like this. What I want to do, I want to reverse it. Now, uh, when I throw the clip, I know that the transient starts right here. So I can easily move this and the transient will always start right there in the pocket. But when I reverse this, now the start of the clip is going to be still this one and not this one. So now the uh, transient right here is a little bit offset, right? So when I move this around, you know, it's not going to sink or it's not going to be right there in the pocket, right? Not, not there in the grid. So if I wanted to put it right here, you know, it's just, just not going to work. So I'm going to need to select the clip, do shift and manually move it and adjust it, you know, adjust it manually. So, you know, we need to do the work. So if I go back, now it's just, you know, it's just going to work. But I don't want to do this because now we have sync points and there's no need to do this work anymore. I can just do right click. I'm going to select my sync point. And now, instead of the beginning of the clip, uh, the ending of the clip is going to be my sync point. So now when I move around, the last part of the clip is going to sync right there in the grid. So if I put it on the three, it's just going to just going to do that. That is all, all the time I just saved by just doing this. And of course, if I duplicate this, it's going to always sync right there, right? So, so that's, that's the trick. Okay, so I know that this is a very small thing. Now, I've done this a million times, like uh, adding the sample, reversing it or trimming the sample and just, you know, fitting it or putting it right there in the pocket. So after a while, uh, this becomes part of the workflow and you do it because, you know, it's just part of the job. But if you think about this, it's a very simple thing and uh, it consumes time. It just takes time. But now, you know, not anymore. You just add your sync point. You just, you know, put your note and there you go. You know, problem fixed. And I really wish all DOS start to implement this, uh, you know, this feature because it's just, again, super useful. Okay, so hopefully you liked all of this. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you just maybe want to buy me a coffee, just to say thanks, you can go to the links at the description. You have links for PayPal, you have Patreon, or you have YouTube. Thanks. All right, so thanks for watching and see you on the next one.